So we're just going to call in the angels and ask what it is, angels, guides, ascended masters, beings of love and light, surround us, enter into our awareness, connect with us. And I ask that we each be surrounded by divine white light and the 100,000 angels of the highest love, light, protection, healing, and guidance. And I ask that this wisdom, this guidance that enters into our day is exactly what you need to hear in this day. So I'm going to ask, I'm using actually, you know what, I'm using two decks now because the yeah. angels keep calling me over to that one. But I'm going to start with the Divine Abundance deck. We're on day eight of our Magical Manifesting Challenge. And eight is the symbol of abundance. So grounded. And we have this beautiful little um, I don't know if it's a cow or a lamb. I think it might be a cow today. I've seen it as a lamb before. Maybe a lamb. With a little bird sitting on her head. And right here at the third eye. So remembering that you're a messenger. And this brings us the reminder that to be an enlightened being, to be um, ascended, in this journey today, in this time, we're all seeking transformation, the little pink butterfly symbolizing transformation. We're all seeking transformation. And as we seek that transformation, we need to remember that we are all transforming. And we don't need to be some extraordinary person. We don't need to be fabulously wealthy, Ordinary people are now transforming into extraordinary people before your eyes. That's what this spiritual awakening, that's what this wave is about. The most ordinary people you meet, that person you meet in the grocery store. I have a lovely, I, I purposely get in the lineup um, to be served by one particular cashier because she has such lovely energy. The girl who went by the door to see if I wanted to switch internet providers who carries treats in her pocket for my puppy. These are the evolved people on earth. So remembering that we wish to ground our light and we, when we become grounded, it's not density that we're grounding into, it's light. We're assisting and grounding those higher energies. We are the anchors for the higher light that's coming onto earth. Remember, you're an anchor for that light. And as an anchor for that light, remember that everyone around you is also anchoring that light. So allowing yourself to relax into that ground. It's not about putting down spikes or tree roots to keep you stuck on earth. It's about putting down those energy, crystal energy, uh, columns down from your energetic column so that you can pull those beautiful earth energies up into you so that we can receive from the earth. Abundance is about receiving, about receiving and sending and receiving and sending. It's that cycle. There is no one on this little card who thinks, oh no, I'm not going to have this today. There is always stability, always support when we deeply connect with Mother Earth, with nature. So we're going to do that. We're going to, that's from um, Tosha Silver's Divine Abundance Deck. And I'm also going to pull a couple of cards from the Archangel Animal Deck from Diana Cooper. So I'm working on my own deck and I hope to be pulling cards from that soon. If you join me on school or follow me on Insight Time, sorry, follow me on Instagram, um, you may find some of those sneak previews on those sites. Definitely those sneak previews of the deck that I'm channeling uh, have been going out in my newsletter. So you can join my newsletter through my, um, my website. Yeah. So... Angels, spirit animals, what message, what wisdom, what guidance? Who would you send to walk with us today? 
the shock. And don't you always think, oh no, there's such a shock. I when I when I tell you that um you can find my cards on my my website, I immediately think, oh no, you're trying to sell something. I hear myself and I'm like, well, I don't know how this works. So the shark reminds us that we don't need to bare our teeth. We can lead through peace. We can be that that person. Notice the sharks have these beautiful lights as they come through. And I'm reminded of the dogfish that didn't seem to be sharks when I was a child and how many of them would swim around and they really didn't feel like any more than my puppy does. My puppy's still in the biting stage and she has this tendency to nip and nibble and her teeth don't hurt. They don't cut. And I think that's what we're being reminded of that. Yes, we can be cautious when we're leading and we can lead through peace. We can lead through joy. Um, Archangels Metatron and Archangel Jewels come with this card. And Archangel Metatron is the Archangel who brings this beautiful golden light, this beautiful golden Christ light, and is assisting us through sacred geometry to an anchor the Christ light consciousness grid into the earth. So you can call on Archangel Metatron to assist you with that. Archangel Jules works with the water energy, with the oceans. And Archangel Jules comes in always to remind us to move into the flow, but to move into divine flow. So if we want to move into the flow of abundance, we need to flow with who we are. I can be a leader. I can even be a shark in a fish tank. But a shark in a fish tank is someone who's taking advantage. I want to be a peaceful leader. I want to become a light warrior. I know that there are going to be sharks in this world, in this fish tank. I also know that that shark energy can come with me and can assist me in moving through the densities, moving through the fear. I can call on the powerful energy of the shark to assist me in seeing what is for me and what is not for me and to keep me safe. A lot of times when we're going through this ascension, we're lifting up. I had a dream last night. I was in the elevator lifting up and it reminds me of the ascension column of light that I channeled yesterday. And I'd been listening to this powerful meditation and I'm lifting up in the elevator and I'm in the elevator and I'm, uh, no, 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 let me out. I forgot something. I forgot something. And we're so attached to the things that we want as a part of the earth energy, that we're, what are we willing to let go of as we lift into our ascension columns? What are we willing to let go of? What are we ready to say, okay? And when I arrived, I didn't get off on the floor I was sending, looking for. I got off at the King's Landing. And the King's Landing was the space where higher power and higher will and my team we're meeting with me to give me more information, to bring me more wisdom. And I was like, okay, fine. You know, I left all this stuff downstairs, right? And it's all going to disappear and somebody's going to steal it. They're like, okay, this is really important. So that's the way we are. We, we need to realize that we need to recognize when it's time to let go and time to detach and allow ourselves to be assisted in releasing the density. So call the energy of the shark in. When you're trying to lift up, you're trying to move into, maybe you're trying to open your own spiritual business and you want to bring light out there and you want some guidance and some wisdom on how do I do that? I teach this. I have a community on school where you can come in and get assistance and wisdom and guidance. Um, and like-minded people, who want to lift up together in a different way. We want to shift and we want to change this planet. We want to assist the world in moving into a higher vibration. And how are we going to do that? We're going to bring our lives into balance. So balance means that we bring the divine feminine and the divine masculine into our lives. 
and the badger comes up and immediately reminds me of um, this energy of badgering the witness <laughs> of saying, okay, but I want this and I want, I, and, and is this the right way? Is it, do that. Talk to your team. And when your team is coming forward and they're saying, okay, this is, it's, it's love and it's light and we're lifting, make sure, ask them, make sure it's your own soul team and it's the energy of your soul. Make sure when you're doing that automatic writing and when you're interviewing your guides or when you're talking to a spirit that you're helping to cross over, go ahead, be firm, be certain of who it is that you're receiving your guidance from. Ask questions. Allow yourself to learn in this process. Allow yourself to bring forward the truth. And sometimes when we're diving deep and we're coming out of that full moon, so we're at that last push towards the new moon, so that stuff is coming up to be cleared. One of the most important questions to ask is, is this mine? Is this really mine? Do I really have to deal with this? Do I really have to work on this? Is this old stuff? Interview that ego that's standing in front of. There's a shark protecting your inner child. So make sure you talk to that shark and make sure that that shark is the loving parent that you are and not some other energy that's left over from the 3D old paradigm. Archangels Mary and Sandophon come in. Archangels Mary and Sandophon. Mary is the, I got this, <laughs> this sneaky little AI that pops up and gives the thumbs up on this. Archangels Mary and Sandophon. Mary is the archangel who works together with Archangel Raphael. And she's the twin flame of Raphael who assists with bringing the miracles and the healing energy into this world. She's grounding miraculous light through the divine feminine. Sandophon is anchoring us to the Lady Gaia, to the crystalline ascension grid. So they're helping us to bring our lives into balance. We have in the cards today, we have Archangel Metatron, I don't know where I put you. There you are. Archangel Metatron bringing that beautiful Christ-like consciousness grid down through, anchoring our, the Christ-like consciousness. We have the divine abundance reminding us that we are the ones who are anchoring. We need to ground our light up. We're anchoring that new level of light that's coming in. And we have the badger, the, the archangels Mary, and Archangel Sandophon showing us how this light is being anchored into the earth. So we're anchoring this new ascension light. This light is being anchored into the earth through us, through you, through the common ordinary people. Most It says many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So the regular folks were the ones who are anchoring these high vibrational lights. We're the ones who are anchoring the energies that are coming down through the sharks that are coming down and being grounded in through the badgers. Allow yourself to be the regular, ordinary folks that are anchoring these columns of light. 